in the yeah. top we're in the top 50 right. of most haunted hotels in the country something like that so tell me your experience um so my husband and i had been here for a couple of days we come up for new year's weekend and it ended up like the third night that we were here we were going to be the only people in the hotel okay the uh, new year's eve was over and then so january 1st that night was just you it was a tuesday tuesdays and wednesdays the hotel used to be completely closed you know restaurant and bar and so it was one of those nights and so we'd gone out for dinner come back in and knew we were the only guests that night and there's no one on staff overnight so yeah. um we had learned by that time that the bathroom door across the hall at certain times of the year if you don't close and lock it it will swing back open and so then when you come out of the room it hits you in the face uh -huh. um so i made sure after we came in that i closed and locked the door after i used it and we went in watch netflix so yeah, you know, yeah. we're talking like 45 minutes something yeah. like that and i said okay i'm gonna go brush my teeth and um, so I went out, and of course the door was unlocked and open, you know, so I, you know, it was right in my face when I came out of the room. I went into the bathroom, the shower curtain was pulled all the way back, and a couple of the, the little hooks were not attached to the curtain anymore, and every towel that we had in the bathroom was wadded into a ball and stuffed under the sink. So, <laughs> so I went back across and the hall. And you're the only people in the hotel. Only people in the hotel. <laughs> So I went back across the hall and I said to my husband, you know, that's really not very funny. He knows I read Stephen King. And so, uh, yeah. and so you know my husband. Yeah. He looks at me and he says, I was in here with you the whole time. And you know that. And I went, oh, yeah, I guess you're right. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's always like tween age prank stuff. It's not mm. anything that they're doing anything really bad or scary. Um, one of the other things that happens to me a lot is there's... Um, Right by the window, as you start to go up the stairs, um, there's a like antique room rate sign. Mm -hmm. And if I'm here by myself and I go upstairs to switch laundry or whatever I'm doing yeah. upstairs, eight times out of ten, when I come back downstairs, that frame will be upside down. <laughs> what? <laughs> that frame uh, that's crazy i mean you want to hear some good stories debbie's been here for almost 30 years oh, yeah. and she used to live down here in the apartment she and ghost. she's had all <laughs> kinds of things she is not a ghost debbie looks like she could be a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> debbie's in touch with the other but side but you would think i mean debbie's kind of scary sometimes uh, so um but i you know she had things that that drove her out of here that um she said with her when she was doing housekeeping that it was about the pillows because at that time if her room was clean and ready for the next guest it was closed and locked mm -hmm. and so she would finish her room close and lock the door go to start another little laundry or whatever and she would come back down the hall and the pillows all the pillows off the bed would be in a neat stack outside the closed locked door oh. Oh. <laughs> front door dude <laughs> i'm out of here that's, the best that's not even the best one oh, no. that's not even the best one tell me the best so my <laughs> favorite one um okay. was when she first started and she was living down here um well there was a time where she her friend was on the phone with her and she said she was cold and she's her friend said ask george to turn the heat on and when she finally to appease her friend said fine george turn the heat on the heat came on but um the owners used to they have a huge new year's bash and then they'd go on a cruise for two weeks and so the hotel was closed and so one of debbie's jobs was to clean up the aftermath of new year's eve which was pretty wild um, and so this particular time she went upstairs and she's looking around and you know trash cans are overflowing with champagne bottles and you know, there's confetti all over the floor and all this stuff. She goes, I don't even know freaking where to start with this crap. She says, I guess I'll start with laundry. So she gathers up a load. She takes it. Laundry was down here at the point at that point, takes it downstairs to the basement to start the load. She comes back upstairs and down the main hallway, all the champagne bottles that were in trash cans are <laughs> lined up in a row and they all had party hats on. Whoa. Whoa. Somebody yeah. peed in my pan. <laughs> Who did it? What is it? What kind of ghost peed in my <laughs> pan? <laughs> it's not me, man. Yeah, ghost peed everywhere. What happened? Uh, I've been haunted. So, you know, wow. it's not, you know, oh they're not gosh. deliberately being mean to yeah. people or anything like that. It's just, 
It's like, yeah. we want you out of here. Kind of yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're know, not going to torment you about it. Just rattle your cage, let you know we're here. And there are people that sometimes It's like say, petty criminal like ghosts. Somebody's <laughs> 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 like guys somebody's never over $200. Never over $200. Yeah. You know, kind of thing. Or wow. um, oh they move your shoes when you're sleeping. Or, oh. you know. And you want dog things. shit on your shoes? They're probably gone. They're probably gone. That was ghost shit, dude. That was ghost shit. No, your shoes are still there. Outside the front door. She's like, no, there's poop on <laughs> it's, it's forever. Yeah, that happened. Not. That happened. It's a real live living dog. <laughs> that's crazy, man. Yeah, that's a great um, story. I mean, we have we have ghost hunters that come in here on a regular basis, and they catch pictures of stuff. And and all my kids have had experiences with it. You know, where what was hey, that? Hey, the fucking door. <laughs> Show yourself. <laughs> Alright, wait, let me get a picture. Hey, is this the thing you do? Or like, <laughs> let me get a picture of you guys. This part of the end of the tour? I want to get a picture of you guys. 